Hi, I'm Ronnie Moore with Cross Companies Process Solutions Group. Today we're going to talk about valve automation and best practices. Once you have determined the correct actuator for the valve, the next thing you need to check is the orientation of the actuator once installed. So you need to know if the end user needs the actuator parallel to the pipe or perpendicular to the pipe. Uh, that will matter in installation in the field due to if there's any piping or other obstructions near the valve, uh, you wanna make sure that once the valve's installed, everything fits and there's no interference with the surrounding pipes or walls or the environment. When installing the bracket, you need to make sure the bracket does not interfere with any items on the valve such as packing glands and it will allow for free turning of the valve shaft. Install all your bolts finger tight to begin with. Next step is your stem adapter. That will adapt the stem of the valve to the output drive of your actuator. And then drop your actuator on top. Once again, put these bolts in finger tight to begin with. So the next step, you'll want to run the, all the bolts down to where they're just touching, but do not torque them yet. Once again, you don't want to, you, you just want to barely touch and you want the bracket to still be able to move. Okay, once the bolts are just touching, on both the valve and the actuator. This step's very important. You need to stroke the actuator two or three times to make sure everything lines up. So you'll just simply put air in it uh, to open it. So close it. Once you've done that a few times, leave it in the closed position. And now tighten your bolts to the recommended torque. Double check that you've torqued all bolts on the valve and actuator side. Once everything is tight, you will want to stroke the valve again to verify that you have smooth operation. So this one is working smoothly. So at this point, this valve has basic automation on it. A customer could just use a remote solenoid and bring air into the two ports and open or close it. 